Wyoming's beautiful Yellowstone National Park is 3,500 square miles of pristine nature. It features huge geysers and clear springs formed over the millennia as a result of the area's subterranean volcanoes. These volcanoes have been the site of some of the most seismic eruptions to ever take place on the surface of the Earth. Yellowstone's last super eruption is believed by scientists to have occurred some 640,000 years ago. And now, some believe that an eruption of epic proportions is long overdue. Mike Sidlowski, a science coordinator for Columbia Public Schools, sums it up best, saying, It has erupted before and it will erupt again. The eruption of the Yellowstone supervolcano has been described as a potentially catastrophic event that could kill and displace millions, send the Western world into disarray, and potentially spell the end of humanity as we know it. A super eruption would destroy the local area instantly, while the resulting earthquakes would rock cities across America. The explosion would send a column of ash miles into the air, which would choke the surrounding airspace and ground flights. Lesser volcanoes in Yellowstone have brought the world to a halt. Tonight, travelers are stranded in all on six continents. Meanwhile, for thousands of miles, buildings and land would be covered in volcanic ash up to 10 feet deep, shutting down factories, power plants, and making the rescue of local people almost impossible. The eruption of such a supervolcano would also likely result in a long volcanic winter, in which food would become scarce and humanity would face mass starvation. Obviously, this scenario is the stuff of nightmares, but back in 2014, reports emerged that the U.S. government had been secretly making decisive steps to mitigate the effects of a potential eruption. The South African news website Prague claimed that the U.S. government had offered the African National Congress $100 billion over the course of 10 years for the construction of temporary housing intended to provide shelter for Americans displaced by a Yellowstone eruption. Meanwhile, in 2017, the BBC reported that NASA scientists had begun work on devising potential methods by which supervolcanoes such as Yellowstone might be cooled down and thus rendered effectively inactive. One idea would be to funnel water into the volcano via an aqueduct, although this would doubtless be costly and difficult to pull off. Another plan involves drilling a hole down into the supervolcano and using it to pump water inside. Uh, don't hold out hope for this one either. As Brian Wilcox of NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory says, if you drill into the top of the magma chamber and try and cool it from there, this would be very risky. Luckily, most experts have been quick to throw cold water on the very idea that Yellowstone is set to catastrophically combust at any moment. This, of course, would mean that the reports of secret contingency plans by the U.S. government are likely to have been fabricated. In a recent interview with EOS, the geophysicist Michael Poland explained that the volcanic caldera complex at Yellowstone poses little immediate danger. He said, Yellowstone is not going to erupt again anytime soon, and when it does, it's much more likely to be a lava flow than an explosive event. These lava flows are really impressive. They can be hundreds of feet thick, but they're not particularly hazardous beyond the immediate area. Poland went as far as to call the Yellowstone supervolcano theory a myth, claiming, the most common misconception about Yellowstone is that it's overdue for an eruption, but volcanoes don't work like that. Reassuringly, the website to the United States Geological Survey echoes Poland in a statement that begins simply, Yellowstone is not overdue for an eruption. This same statement explains that volcanic schedules cannot be deduced from past activity. And even if they could, the Yellowstone caldera has erupted just three times in over two million years, too few for any pattern to be established. Even if one were to do so, the next eruption would still be 100,000 years from now. So it seems that we can all sleep easy. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more grunge videos about your favorite stuff are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.